Hey folks, how are we doing? Welcome back. Another film. Right, we're on we're on Mull. We've made it onto Mull. And um, tonight's film, we are going looking for short-eared owls and hen harriers. Now, big shout out to Richard Birchett for giving me this location. Uh, I contacted Richard. I know he's been up up here recently, and uh, he was good enough to give me this this location. So I'm only here for well, I'm only actually in this part of the island um, for one night. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get a bit of footage. And uh, I've just just sat here having a brew, brewing a fig, and I've seen a hen harrier. And it's only it's only just after three o'clock. So that's really encouraging. So that's what we're hopefully doing tonight. By now, you will have seen the video that I put out with the pine martins and the red squirrels. Now, I do apologise because I lost part of the footage, so it ended up a bit of a bit of a silent film, if you will. Um, but fantastic to see the red squirrels. I got some great footage of them. The pine martins. It was so frustrating because they had four sessions in that hide and. The penultimate session, I just, I don't know, I kind of, I'd been in there for about five hours and uh, I, was, I was losing the will to live, to be honest, because it just wasn't showing. And I was dying to get some cracking pictures of the pine martin. And I said to myself, right, I'm going to pack up at nine o'clock. And I packed up and sods law, I came, I came past the, uh, the stone wall where the setter was and I looked behind as I was going and what was there, the bloody pine martin was right on top of the log. It, you know, you couldn't have scripted it. Anyway, I, I managed to get a couple of stills and they're the stills that you saw at the end of the film and I was chuffed to bits with that, but I was just, it was such a shame that I didn't get any film footage, but it means I'll have to come back, doesn't it? So, hey, it's right, isn't it? Uh, so, Anyway, tonight that's what we're doing tonight. We're going to um, we're going to get out. There's a there's a big field where apparently there's a there's a few uh, short-eared owls and an area has been showing. So we're just going pretty minimal setup tonight. I'm just going to take the take the tripod with the video head on, uh, obviously, if you know for the, uh, the the video footage that we're hopefully going to get. And I'm just going to take the tragopan ghillie blanket, and that's it. And I'm just going to get hunkered down. There's a, a bush in the middle of this particular field that I've you know, I've earmarked as a, as a decent location where I can get bedded down and I've got a pretty good view. I've got kind of a, you know, 360 view of the of the whole area. And so we'll see what we get. And so we'll have this brew, have a bit of scram and uh, yeah, we're not... down in this uh, this this spot now pretty much in the middle of the uh, the field where hopefully we're going to see a bit of action now it's a bit of a tough one because I don't know where they're coming from so I want to give myself the best opportunity I can to get some decent flight shots now there's a fence line just runs runs down on this left hand side so like I said before, I have not been to this location before and I've never I've never watched the birds, so I don't know where they're likely to appear and whether they're going to sit on any of these posts. But if I give myself half a decent chance, I've got a bit of cover here with this, this tree. It's it's a it's a tough location this really, because you don't wanna you don't wanna be up against something and completely obscure all your chances of getting stuff behind you, but then again because it's an open, open area, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to stick out like a sore thumb. So what I'm going to have to do really is just try and keep, keep as low down as I can, get myself a decent vantage point. Still got a view of these posts here, 
Um, I'm going to set the tripod up, you know, and get, get it about probably two foot, get the camera about two foot off the ground. I'm going to use this ghillie blanket. I'm going to put my 3D camo jacket on, I think, and also my pants. I want to give myself as much chance as I can. I don't want to get seen by them. So let's just make it, make it up as we go along, really, on this one. Uh, yeah, and I think we're going to start on the uh, with the Sigma, the 150 to 600. I'm going to stick the 1.4 converter on it, just give me that bit of extra reach. And then maybe later when light stops dropping, I'll put the 300 on with the converter. Uh, I've still got plenty of reach with that because I'm on a crop sensor on the D500. And yeah, we'll see what happens. So yeah, well, like I said, we're making it up as we go along, but sometimes you've got to do, haven't you? But it'll be right. We'll give ourselves the best chance, so we'll stick that on. I'll tell you what we'll do first. I want to get this get this camo gear on. We're doing, folks. Right, we're on. To, uh, we're still on the hunt for these these shorties and the N areas. We had uh, we had to do last night, and I got bedded down in that field under that, that well that bush. Had all my camo gear on, and didn't get a lot really. Had a few fly pass, but it's a it's a quite a tough location, is this? And they're literally, they're just flying all over the place, so it's a bit of a potluck, really. You know, you can be lucky, they can come right past you, you know, and you'll get some belting shots. But there's no real, real hot spot, if you will. So it's just a case of, you know, suck it and see. If you're lucky, 
you know you'll, you'll get the shots but what I'm going to do I've been watching them a bit earlier today and there seems to be one one area in particular where I've seen them go past a few times so I'm going to edge my bets and I'm just you know I'm just going to wander up the road here keeping off the field because there's nests all over the place you know on the ground nesting birds short it out so you don't want to be you don't want to be traipsing near the nest and, and disturbing them it's out of order so we're just going to get by the by the roadside here set up i'm on the big tripod because i want to try and get some video footage which would be nice and we're just going to we're just going to tough it out um it's about about four o'clock now half past four something like that let's have a look yeah no it's not it's quarter past five quarter past five so chatting with a few people have been down here they reckon you know it gets uh, it starts kicking off about five between five and eight that's probably one of the uh one of the best times for them that's when they're hunting so we're going to give it a do see what we can get fingers crossed we've only got a couple of days left and uh you know i don't want to go on with with nothing so we'll give it our best Catch you in a bit. folks early doors we've uh, well I meant to be sat in queue now for ferry but there were no way I were gonna miss this this is our last morning on Mull today and I couldn't resist I looked at the weather and the weather bang on really nice light as well so I've come back down to where we were taking the uh, shorty and owl photography the other day and uh, already i've had a couple of absolute belters it's well we were up at five like i said we were meant to be queuing for the ferry but that can wait we'll, we'll get on somehow half past six now and they've just started flying they've uh, they're landing down here about about 400 yards in front of us there's obviously you know there's, there's probably a nest down here so the two adults just come in both with prey and uh, oh, i've got a couple of stonkers absolute belters it's a shame I haven't got a bit more reach on the camera, but um, you know we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get a bigger lens. It's gonna have to happen, but when it does, who knows? <laughs> so anyone wants to send me a, a five or a six hundred f four, hey, don't be shy. Um, <laughs> but no, we've we've got the three hundred on again with converter, and uh, I think we're getting is it four four twenty? I'm not sure what we're getting anyway, but um, no. We're, uh, we're managing to get some decent images, so we're just shooting, um, 
I'm on on shutter priority actually because I want I want it a thousandth of a second. I'm shooting wide open at the moment, which with the Convertron's F4 and ISO wise, we're getting about 800 ISO, which you know there's not any direct sunlight, so it's not too bad. We can cope with that. So hopefully they'll come out and give us a give us another show. But uh, yeah, I'll have a look at, back at camera here. So, here we go. There we go. That's the that's the shot of the day so far. You can see he's got the the vol in its talons. I'm chuffed to bits with that. Absolutely chuffed to bits. But yeah, well worth the, the detour this morning. Right, we'll crack on and see if we can get any more. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I've been struggling with a bit. When I'm filming on the on this D500, it's uh, it's quite difficult to to see what you know whether you're focused on the on the LCD screen. So I know I've seen a few people using the the screens that go on top of the camera. So if anyone can recommend, you know, a decent make. Um, just pop it in comments underneath because I think uh, I think it's definitely the way forward. You know, you're on such a small screen on the back of the camera, it can be difficult, especially with, you know with these birds in flight. So yeah, stick us a comment on and see if you can recommend one for us. Well, that's it folks, I'm afraid. This is the worst bit, this. Taking the uh, taking the camera off the tripod for the last time, but uh, you know, you've got to go sometime, haven't you? <laughs> but what a cracking trip we've had. It's been a belter. Met some proper interesting people. Big shout out to Jimmy Bullen, who uh, you keep living the dream, mate. And uh, Brian from BJB Images. Yeah, really nice to have met you and uh, we've had a we've had a blast it's been fantastic i think the the highlight of this trip has been these short eared owls and uh well, i've had some cracking images you know it was really worth coming back this morning as well i mean if ever you you know if you you're out on a trip like this and you just get that chance to maybe come back at a, at a particularly good spot and just even if it's just another another hour or something you know you can just drop on that really good image that you you know normally you wouldn't have got so it's just worth going out your way you know what i mean we should have been on ferry but uh, we'll get back won't we so hey it's been uh, it's been a cracker i mean the shorties 
again going back to that you know saying coming back and you know doing another little session I don't think I'll, I'll probably not get back here this year so you know the the opportunity to get them extra pictures that I wouldn't I wouldn't normally have got has been uh, been well worth it so that's it from Mull this year we'll uh, you never know we might come back at the back end you never know I, I don't think we're going to get weather like this though because the weather's been absolutely cracking it's been brilliant so hey thanks for watching and if you've liked it give us a thumbs up maybe subscribe if you haven't done it that bell icon and all that malarkey and we will catch you on the next one see you out there